Ford has gone completely nuts in a fantastic way with the 2025 Ford Mustang GTD. So what we're gonna do in this video is obviously have a look at this insane design. It looks so cool. It's not really a beautiful design, but it's a super functional and race car inspired design that I absolutely love. And it feels like we're getting less and less cars like this with a 5.2 liter V8 800 horsepower these days. So I'm really glad that Ford decided to put this out. So what I want to do in this video, talk about the spec and tech, uh, first of all, and then have a look at the sketches for this car because Ford right now and their marketing uh, department are putting out some of the best looking sketches, design sketches for their new products. They've been doing that for a long time. They seem to have a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Then we're gonna have a look at the real thing from our front side rear and uh, talk about this design because it's such a cool car. So first of all, let's have a look at this article from Car and Driver. And I'm gonna of course link this down in the description if you wanna go and check the full article out. So this is uh, the Ford GTD, 2025 model year. It's a supercharged 5.2 liter V8, active aerodynamics, and numerous other track oriented modifications. It will cost around $300,000. But when we go into what's actually been done to this model, this is nowhere near a regular Mustang GT or even the Dark Horse. This is a completely different animal when it comes to uh, performance and technology. Built from a desire to win Le Mans with, with a Mustang, the 2025 Ford Mustang GTD is essentially a street legal version of Ford's upcoming racer. Ford plans to build a street legal GTD in limited numbers and it intends for this super staying to take on the best track cars in the world. And these are the competition that they had in mind when they were building this uh, GTD. It's for the AMG Black, Aston Martin and the Porsche GT3 RS. We want to beat it, the GT3 RS at Le Mans, but we also want to beat it as a street car. And that is setting the bar very, very high specifically for a Mustang, but I'm so excited that Ford decided to take on a project like this. So you have an eight-speed dual-clutch transaxle, transaxle, a transaxle cooler mounted onto the trunk lid to cool the gearbox. Ford claims that the GTD has nearly 50-50 weight distribution front and back, which is fantastic. That's exactly what you want for a uh, proper track and performance car. Exposed carbon fiber panels, as on the GT Supercar, are under consideration. However, such an option may ultimately prove too complicated and expensive. But when you think about it, if you're someone who can afford to pay $300,000 for a Mustang, adding maybe 50k more onto that for some uh, exposed carbon fiber panels i don't think it's gonna you know make such a big difference but it would make a huge difference in the look of the car so i think they should go for it it's powered by a slightly modified version of the shelby gt500 supercharged 5.2 liter v8 an available titanium exhaust made by akrapovich blows hot air out of two large pipes that protrude from the rear fascia the wheels Wheel and tire setup here are absolutely massive. You have 345 millimeter tires in the back <laughs> to plant this car properly. And you have even 325 wide tires in the front end. So super beefy tires, both front and back. And just look at this fitment here of this wheel in this gorgeous fender with this shark outlet right here looking fantastic you have massive carbon ceramic brake rotors hiding behind the uh, the gtd wheels i also do really like this wheel design and i do like the bronze seems to be uh, coming back a little bit in trend now i rather have bronze wheels than black wheels in most cases i'm glad they went with this design and this finish for these wheels you have a dedicated cooling duct helped keep the front rotors from overheating the massive wing hangs off the c pillar is an optional extra and it's due to come with hydraulically controlled active drag reduction or drs as we know from formula one to increase downforce when necessary ford will all offer carbon fiber autobody that comes with hydraulically actuated active front flaps it's just insane how much they put into this Mustang. The latest Mustang, you do have the same infotainment screen, the big one, as you have in the new uh, generation with the big screens. There are no rear seats. You have the big wing in the back. And you also have a 3D printed rotary shifter and shift paddles made from the titanium parts of a Lockheed Martin F-22 
fighter jet. Ford plans to build around a thousand to two thousand examples of this and as I say here they will most likely definitely all sell out pretty quickly. So let's have a look at the design of this uh, GTD Mustang. I think it's again it's such a cool project. This would be a dream project as a designer and you can see in these sketches here that they did have a lot of fun, a lot of creativity when they created this design. So I love these type of sketches that we have up here. Very simplistic design uh, sketch uh, style but it explains so much and it, it shows you the idea behind why they did certain things and usually what we do uh, when as designers we take a lot of inspiration from nature and you can see that here this is a human being in the stance ready to just take off in a hundred meter sprint it looks like and then you have the same stance this stance of this person being the inspiration for the stance of the Mustang itself and I love the design that we have here very nice job by Mr. Durandis down here as you can see that is the person who sketched this up then we go further down into these blue sketches down here I do like this blue pen this is also a very uh, common pen to use when you're sketching cars to give it some some sort of color but still keep it very simplistic beautiful sketches look at the stance in the rear here we have the same beefy stance and these white tires just planting this car and the side view looks gorgeous as well with this sloping roofline fastback design that we have and the wing as you can see sticking out beautifully from the C pillar creating this race car inspired design of this car and you can see that we have a completely basically a brand new front fascia compared to the, uh, the the new Mustang this looks completely different a lot of air vents bigger air vents both up top in the grill and down below at the bottom and I just wanted to show you this sketch because I think it's such a gorgeous sketch to have this yellow in contrast with the blue and you can see how they just created these uh, reflections in the body of the car here and on the wheels to reflect the yellow pieces that are for example in the background here. technically a beautiful sketch by Ford and last but not least I pop this sketch in here because this is what I'm talking about it shows like the designers they're having fun in the design studios of Ford creating these type of sketches this is what you want to do as a designer put it in its right environment on the track right here with some spare tires and stuff like this just looks a lot of fun and a lot of creativity in their sketches now let's have a look at the real thing here we don't have a, um, a, a, a photo of the interior but as as they said the car and driver in the article there they said that uh, it is the same big screen that we have in, um, in in the new Mustang which I said I'm not a huge fan of but you know that is just the times we live in so let's have a look at this beauty I think we can call this a more more of a beast than a beauty but have a look at this front end we do have this line that I love in the new Mustang that is a clear starting point of where the front graphics start so you have this line up top very aggressive headlights in this case we have this wide body kits and a lot of chamfers going on in the front end we have this massive mouth being inverted uh, as you can see these lines pointing outwards emphasizing this stance and the width of this car it just looks so planted from every single angle uh, this car and then you have the hood vents up here every vent on this car is obviously going to be functional they wouldn't put in fake vents in a high performance uh, machine like this I also like these wings that we have on the side and we have a, almost a double take on on the lower lip we have one lip at the very bottom and then we have this Ken Arts on the sides here creating even more downforce in the front end just looking fantastic we do have a traditional Mustang grill with the shape of this we still have the Mustang logo a Mustang logo in the grill itself now have a look at this side view we do have the 20 inch wheels here there is so much going on that is different from the uh, normal Mustang when it comes to this design first of all we do have look at the rear here we have a, an extended ducktail in the rear in addition to this active active arrow uh, rear wing that sticks out from the bodywork it's the C pillar it just pops up like this super cool design and I can't believe that this is actually legal to put a wing like this from factory and put it into production it's such a cool again it's such a cool product for Ford then we have this big outlet to uh, reduce drag in the front fender with a nice styling to it so the outline of this looks very dynamic and it looks almost organic 
when you have it like this. It looks like the gills on a shark, specifically in this dark blue color. And then we have an intake, air intake right here. And I think this is pr most likely cooling for the gearbox. That's the only thing I can think that it is because it is, you know, a front engine. You have the big V8 up here and you have the transmission back here. So I think the transmission might need some extra cooling. So putting in a almost like a mid engine air intake in the side, it just, why not? It just looks cool. Then you have this line at the bottom right here coming into the beautiful side skirt and these wheels. I do, as I said, I think these are very nice looking wheels and I'm so glad that they didn't make those black because that would just hide this beautiful design that we have here on these 20 inch wheels. And again, we have this shoulder line going all the way here and then dip slowly into the front end creating this again shark nose uh, design that we have here. And it, it also helps now that we have a massive wing in the rear end even further, you know, bringing in this shark vibes into this design. You can see the massive diffuser that we have at the lower section right here looking at the rear view. I think this is probably my favorite view even though I think from every single angle of this Mustang it just looks like a proper beast this Mustang. And then you have this extended uh, duck tail which I think should be an option to have on the normal GT because I think it looks so good to have it extrude like this because we have this fastback design but then now with this ducktail it comes back and just sends it off in a nice way. I wish that was an option to have this trunk at the normal GT because I think it adds to this design. And you can see the big wing park bench up here. You have a nice chamfer housing all the tail graphics. Traditional three LED design that we've had since 1965 on the Mustang. You have the GTD logo in the middle and have a look at this race car Le Mans inspired diffuser in the back. You have the re reverse light right here, big Akrapovic exhaust at the bottom. Overall, I think Ford has nailed it when this design. I think we needed this car because we've seen so many uh, you know, nameplates turning into EVs that completely lacks what they've been having throughout history. But this is bringing back Mustang in such a way that I'm excited for to see what Ford will actually do with their other models and if they are going to make more models that are this much, you know, inspired by Le Mans and race car uh, philosophy. Overall, I can't wait to see this car in real life. It's going to look absolutely fantastic.